I am the president of the International Jump Rope Union and uh, I've been a part of the sport for almost uh, over 30 years. How would you define hard things? Um, uh, I guess how, how I would define hard things are, are things that are worthwhile doing. Nothing worthwhile was ever easy, ever. So I kind of look at hard things as an opportunity. I'm kind of a weird that way. And when someone tells me it's hard, I set up like, oh really? <laughs> you know, and I guess that comes from being a jump rope athlete, former, 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 former jump rope athlete, because we were always pushing, challenging. Let's do, make, let's make it harder. Right? That's the era I grew up in in jump rope of not just let's do what's impressive. How can we make this harder? What if we added a person, stacked them on top? Of, what if we did this? You know. It, and so whenever I hear a hard thing, I set up because I know greatness is close by. Nothing ever in life was ever achieved that was great, wasn't hard. You know the hardest thing in life that I would not take back? I would say losing a job. Um, you know, when, you're, when, I, when I grew up, you know, having a job, career, that was, you know, you check things off the list, right? And there's security in that. You feel comfortable. You know, you feel like, as long as I have this, I'm okay. And when you lose a job, some of that security gets taken away and you begin to question who you are. Um, you know, but going through a job loss, uh, for me, has actually been liberating. Uh, when you use joy to convert it, right? Uh, I wouldn't take it back because I now walk in a different purpose than I had before. Uh, I was always playing it safe. As long as I had this job, I was safe, right? But being safe does not always mean you're doing what you're supposed to do. You know, being safe doesn't mean that you're walking in your purpose. And so sometimes in life, you, you have to lose certain things to gain. And so I wouldn't take it back. I wouldn't wish it on anybody either, but I wouldn't take it back. Yeah. How have you grown as a result of this hard thing? You've grown because now you realize just how precious time really is. And if you spend your time playing it safe, you never really walk on the water, right? You never really get out of the boat. You never really see who you can become if you truly gave your all. So, you know, the growth to me is, the growth for me has been one of, of knowing that, wow, just how strong you really are. You know, just how, how much you can really take. And also, heck, there's really nothing else to be afraid of in life. You know, when the thing you thought would never happen to you happens, after it happens and you say, I'm still here, I guess I can take it. Let's go. The thing that I guess the piece of counsel or the or the concept that more so came to my mind to help me through all of this is that, you know, everything is a choice. You know, you choose to love, you choose to engage, you choose to disengage. You choose to be happy choose to be sad sometimes. It's a choice. And once you realize that you have a choice in the matter, it becomes liberating. But you don't have to stay where you are. You know, why sit we here and die? <laughs> why? You can choose to get up. You can choose to stay here. Or you can choose a different path. And I'm so grateful to have that choice.